Hey guys, welcome back to episode 6 of An Adventure Island 2, and now we're going to move on to Cloud Island. And like I said last time, this is my favorite world. And there are 10 stages in this world, but you do have, this is the longest island you have to go through the most amount of stages. So you will have to go through 7 stages if, if you want to do the shortest path, but um, there's really not too much challenge here. You know, this is your like last ditch effort to get any items that you need for the last two levels. So, in this world, in this little section, the first four stage that we are in right now, this is the only stage. This is the last stage where you can get a pterodactyl. So, if you really want a pterodactyl, you can grab grab him here. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. The rest of the stage that I skipped is pretty much just flies and snakes and rocks. There's not really too much to worry about in this stage, so if you want to skip the, skip the rest of it, you can just do that with a pterodactyl. It'll save you a lot of time. Okay, so anything, any egg will take you to this water stage, and this water stage, you can use a purple dinosaur. Um, for me, personally, sometimes I have a hard time controlling the purple dinosaur, so I just go without it, and it's just easy. To me, it's easier. It's a little bit easier. A lot of mines, a lot of things moving. Um, there's the octopi. Let's see, got some carrots, got some apples. Got to make sure though that you keep moving. This is probably one of the harder stages. There is one stage if you can skip it. Probably would be a good idea to skip it. But there's not none of these levels are really that long in this world. So. Um, you know, it, it's a actually it's an actual pretty fun, pretty fun world that's quite challenging because of certain as certain levels in this world is just too is tough. You know, and we're almost there, and there we go, we are done with <laughs> we're done with this lake stage, set, uh, third to last lake stage of the game. Okay, so we got a hundred. Any egg will take us to the volcano stage. We have to go in this specific order. You know, it's always the same way for these first four stages, so... Alright, so, this volcano stage, um, a lot of octopi, a lot of frogs, but nothing really challenging, so... Not, it's not too hard. It's a pretty good decent size difficulty level for World 6, so... A couple of crabs, like right there. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is sitting right there. Okay. There is a red dinosaur in this egg right here, in this bird. So, oh no, I'm sorry, not red, blue. Blue guy. There was a red or blue guy. I don't, I didn't quite remember at that moment. But, and then uh, octopi, of course. So a little bit of platforming, a few clouds, and but overall, not too bad. It's a really easy. It's not that hard of a stage, at all. So. The other uh, volcano stage is about the same difficulty. There's nothing. It's not that much harder or easier than this one. So, and we are getting closer to the end. So, if you have to choose between which levels that you you want to start off with, if you're going to start off late in the game, start with World Six because there's so many there's so many chances to get dinosaur here dinosaurs here that it's it can be very helpful for you to start off on a world that will give you. Your, that, that is the last ditch effort to get some items and weapons, so... Okay, so now we're gonna go to the cloud stage. Again, like I said, any egg will take you to this cloud stage from, from that volcano. And uh, after this stage, we'll have our first choice of where we want to go. And for the most part, this is a platforming stage. A couple of clouds, a couple of spiders, and a couple of cloud enemies, but other than that, not too much to worry about. There's a couple of clouds at the very end that do fall. So make sure not to stand on them too long, otherwise you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, these cloud guys pretty much mimic the the eagles from World 3. You know, so your pattern is pretty easy and to figure out, so it's a pretty short stage, anyways. Even though this world has ten stages, it's actually not that long to finish all of this stuff. So there we go. Here's a couple here's those two cloud platforms that fall. And there we go. I don't know why they shaped it like that for the exit, but anyways, one, two, seven, and eight take us to the volcano, and three through six take us to the beach. And we're gonna take three here. 
or four and take us to the beach. Now this beach is probably the most difficult stage of the world. There are tons and tons of foxes here. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna be funny to watch some of the, watch fox after fox come after us. Watch out, here it comes, here goes the first one right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. There is a bonus level if you manage to come here, and it is the good bonus level. It does give you the items, so the items and weapons. So if you ha if you manage to come here, please do because you will get some really needed items. And here comes box number one. Box number two is coming up, and three. And watch out, and four right there. Now after four, after the fourth box in a row. Go to the end of this platform and you'll find the egg. So make sure not to jump too quickly. Otherwise, if you fall down there, you'll never come. You can't come back. So make sure to make sure just take your time and just jump box after box. Now I'm gonna do something really crazy probably at the very end with the red dinosaur, which I hopefully I will get. And there we go. There's our red dinosaur. And I'm gonna move over just a little bit. Get rid of this box first and run. <laughs> Three foxes in a row. There's two, and <laughs> there's two more. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it didn't hit me there. Okay, so for this stage, one, seven, and eight take you to the volcano. Two takes you to the forest, and three through six take you to the cave. I'm taking three or four. I don't even quite remember. I wasn't watching really well. And the cave stage. Now this cave stage, it is very easy with the red dinosaur, but it can be done without any dinosaurs whatsoever, so... Come on. Um, it is a lava cave, you know, which is not too bad. If you ha like I said, if you have the red dinosaur, this is a very cinchy level. It's not that hard to beat at all. Oh dear, <laughs> don't do that, what I just did. Okay, so I don't think there's any bonuses in this stage, so we could just keep moving on. Uh, there's a couple of fire. Yeah, this fire one is hard and this one right here. This jump is ridiculous You just gotta you gotta jump as close as you can on the end to make it all the way to the end Now if you that's the one thing I hated about that jump right there They always put it at a spot where you can't you can barely jump over it Okay, so in that egg, 1 through 4 take you to the forest, 5 through 8 take you to the volcano, and I'm gonna go to the volcano first. And this volcano stage, like I said, is not that much diff more difficult or easier than the other stage, the other volcano stage, so we don't have too much to worry about. There's no bonus, I don't think there's any bonuses in this stage, there's a lot of cloud jumping though. And saw volcanoes and octopi and crabs. That crab is a little tricky, make sure not to go too fast right there. Okay, so jump over these. A couple of these clouds that really go up and down. <laughs> oh my gosh, these falls, so be careful. Okay, we're almost, I think we're almost there. It's not too much farther. This is a hard, tough jump right here. Make sure to time it when it's about ready to go down. So, okay. Watch out for the snail, wait for the cloud to come up. They only appear one at a time, so don't rush, don't rush into anything on this stage, and you'll be fine. And there we go, there's our volcano stage. Okay, last choice of the world. One, two, seven, and eight take you to the cave stage. Uh, three through six take you to the forest stage. Now this forest stage, if of any of the stages in this left side of the island, go to the forest stage. It's very easy. And you get a free blue dinosaur, and a, and another bonus game too. This is the other this is the other level that has a bonus game in it. You don't really need to use the springboards. I don't know why they gave it to you. And piggies, piggies and snakes, and uh, piggies, snakes, snails, and spiders. Mainly, that's pretty much all that you have to worry about. Lots of piggies right there. <laughs> I don't think that any of the snakes really fire at you either, so that's great, you know. Let's see. Grab those, watch out for the fireplace right there. And I think in this, yeah, this tree right here has the special bonus with the green dinosaur. He'll give you the item that you have the least amount of. And in this case, I believe it's going to be pterodactyl. Yeah, pterodactyl. Alright, so there's our pterodactyl, and then we can move on. And I think... Is it this one? No. Next one. 
The next one has a free blue dinosaur, of all things. <laughs> oh my gosh. They just give you free stuff all the time. That's why I said, you know, if you're gonna start on any world, start at World 6. Star World 6, because they, it's really easy. It's a, it's a really easy world, and it builds up your lot. It's the last build up for dinosaurs, so. Okay, so for this cave, um. It is a climbing cave, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. Um. And this one is not that hard, either. This is basically to get you all the way to the top. So. I believe there's a red dinosaur somewhere in this stage. Yeah, you gotta make sure not to take those small uh, platform tracks because otherwise, you know, those big fat boulders come out. You know, oh yeah, here's the red dinosaur. If you need a red dinosaur, you can get this red dinosaur here. Again, very, very generous. <laughs> again, once again, generous. And uh, it's not a really hard stage for the most part. They give you a milk here, which is kind of not necessary at all because we're almost actually at the top. So unless you really screw up and you fall off, you don't have to worry too much about this stage. And there we go. There's our cave stage. And now we're on to the boss. This is a very, like I said, this is a very short world. Even though there's 10 stages instead of the usual 9, it's a very easy, it's not that hard. That's why it's one of my favorites. And it also has one of my favorite bosses. So, okay, so here we are at the final cloud stage. And uh, I'm going to put the red guy away. I'm not going to... And you can cheat by doing using the pterodactyl, but you know personally, personally you can do you can do this. It is not that hard to platform this cloud stage. You know everyone just cheats and uses the pterodactyl, and I'm like no. You know, there's the meat right here. If you really need that, that's really great. You know, it'll give you lots of time. There's lots and lots of time, even if you fall off. There's plenty of time to do this stage, you know. Unless you keep messing up. There's one jump at the very end though that's kind of tough, and there's only really one enemy in this entire stage, right there, and it's right there. So just get rid of that, and you gotta make a clear jump here. This is a tough one. You gotta jump when it when the cloud just about comes your way on the left side, you know, so. It's a pretty tough jump, but like I said, you have so much time to do it, you can you can just try and try and try again, you know, to make sure you get it. Okay, so this is the world boss. It is a bird. Um, yeah, notice there's, <laughs> there's something really different about this boss versus everything else. You know? This boss actually does move up and down, it does shoot projectiles, but you also have to worry about cloud jumping. So, it actually gives you the fact that it's Either the clouds are falling down or, you know, you're kind of climbing up. So, this is actually, you know, like I said, it's one of my favorite bosses. Mainly because, you know, it's something different that you haven't seen that much of before. He's not a very difficult boss. He doesn't have a defensive mechanism, really, other than the shooting the projectiles or touch, or unless you touch him, I guess. Um, it's not a hard boss, and there you go. We're done. With, we're done with Cloud Island. Cloud Island was really easy. For me, Cloud Island is pretty easy anyways, in general. So there we go. Now we're going to go off to, to one of the harder worlds, Volcano Island. So we'll do that next time. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you guys later. Take care. Bye.